Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Now, in the past on this channel, we have done a couple aquarium reviews, the most recent one being of an 8 gallon desktop aquarium, perfect size for a betta fish, some tetras, you know, what have you. But for today's video, we're taking a little bit of a different approach, and we're reviewing a different kind of aquarium. That's right, we're going to be reviewing this monstrosity of a tank from Amazon. Now I'm actually going to get the exact price I paid for this tank because it actually wasn't cheap. Um, this was like 50 bucks I think, let's check. A few moments later. Yeah, this aquarium on Amazon is $45.99 before tax. Now I promise we're going to dive into this a little bit deeper. Don't even ask why I thought to buy this. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I purchased this, but regardless, here we are today. We're going to be talking a little bit more about this tank. First off, what it includes, if we look on the box on this beautiful packaging, we have a nice little list of what's going on here. Um, you can go ahead and pause to read that, or I will read it to you now. Now, in addition to this beautiful uh, aquarium, that includes a USB power connector, multi-function pen holder, because who does not want to store office supplies with their fish? Anyways, besides the point. Um, it also includes nature sounds. Um, if you want to feel like you're in a rainforest, maybe maybe this product can do that for us. It also includes two different lights we'll check out as well as an under gravel filtration system. I wish I could say this tank looks promising but look at this and tell me it looks promising. In fact the short answer is it doesn't look promising. Without further ado though, cracking this beautiful aquarium on open, we are met with just the aquarium. Taking some of this stuff off, it looks like everything we need is going to be right inside. So I'll go ahead and take this out of the plastic. We have our light right here, some packing material, and here's the tank. It's exactly what I expected, to be honest with you, and that's unfortunate. Now in the aquarium itself, we have a little USB cord, which I don't see a power adapter to, as well as a bag of aquarium gravel with different colors in it, random, and that is Pretty much it. So I went ahead and honestly took the time to set this little aquarium up. I got the clock all figured out. I got the water flowing. And now I think it's time we talk a little bit more about it. So for starters, this right here is the clock. Um, one thing I'm noticing right away is that it does not stay lit up. Okay? Pretty useless to be honest with you. We have the time, we have the date, and you know, you get the gist of it. Um, it was a little difficult to go ahead and set up. I did have to refer to the instruction manual a few times, um, which was not great English, to be honest with you. But I got it all figured out. Honestly, this part's irrelevant to me, so we're going to move on pretty quick. One thing I will note is that this little tank is USB powered. However, the clock portion is battery powered. So, not sure why that was battery powered, but I did need to empty the water and put batteries in it to finish setting it up. Um, before we move on to the fish tank, I will also mention there's a sound button. That. So if you wanted it to sound like you're on a farm, that's always an option. I don't know what the purpose of that is, to be honest with you. It seems super gimmicky to me. But that's besides the point. Let's move on to the actual aquarium. Now, these are the rocks that it came with, as you can see. Um, and that little white plate down below is the so-called under gravel filter. Now how an under gravel filter works is that it pulls water through the gravel using the gravel as a filter media. And there's simply not enough gravel in here to let that even happen. So the under gravel filter system is very gimmicky and it's really just a recirculating pump. Now stating the obvious issue here, this tank is too small. In reality, to fill it up with water, it took around a third of a gallon, which is too small for any living fish. And even if we were to put small fish in here, the water flow is going to be too strong. As you can see, it is splashing quite a bit. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but the under gravel filter grates are way too big, as you can see, to have small fish in the aquarium. So really, setup was super easy. All I did was dump the bag of rocks in and filled it up with water. If we flip it around real quick, we can see there's a switch for the main light, okay? And there's also a switch for the pump and the secondary lights. So if we turn off the main light, you can see there's some color changing LEDs in there. It's a nice gimmick. Um, in reality, it is going to be annoying if you wanted to keep this in a bedroom because there's no way to actually turn those lights off without turning the pump off as well. I will say, on the other hand, the pen holder does function quite well on this. In fact, that's probably the only thing in this aquarium that does function quite well. As I was running through a list of 
really useful applications for this in my head. I couldn't think of too many, unfortunately. Um, I was thinking shrimp, but due to those large under gravel filter slots, the shrimp would get stuck in the pump and you'd never see them again. So not only does this not make a good fish tank, it doesn't make a good shrimp tank. The only practical thing I could see here is either just for decoration, although it's kind of expensive for that, or another more practical solution would be a small Marimo moss ball. Marimo moss balls are live plants. They would be great for a situation like this with an aquarium that's too small for fish, but you still want to keep the aesthetic. I will say the little running water application is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can kind of see it does splash a lot. So the faucet is getting a little wet, the LED light is getting a little wet, and keep in mind, this is with the water filled up to the max level. It's splashing this much. That is a potential problem for sure. Now I actually was considering putting some fish in this for the video, however, now that I have it set up and unboxed and all that, I think putting any fish in here is going to be inhumane. I would highly not recommend keeping a living animal in here, and the fact that that's how they're advertising this is a little concerning to me. As I mentioned earlier, the clock portion is simply a gimmick. It doesn't stay lit up. It's very difficult to control. Um, if you have this at a desk, it might be a little more practical. However, I don't know what the deal with that backlight is. So while this is a cool little gimmick, a toy if you will, please, please do not put a live fish in here. I saw pictures of people putting goldfish in here, putting beta fish in here, and that's just not the reality of this tank. With no real filtration, no heater, and such little water volume, you can't keep a live fish in here. You physically just can't. So while this tank is purely for looks, purely for fun, and purely for aesthetics, I don't think I'd really recommend it. So obviously you can tell I don't like this tank. I don't recommend this tank. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> In fact, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me absolutely rip apart this tank for the past five or so minutes. Uh, the only thing I can say is that the pen holder seems to work great and that's about all this tank is good for. If this fits your decor style and you want to see this thing sitting on your desk, more power to you, absolutely get it. If it doesn't hurt me or any animals, I could really care less what you do with your money. However, if you're buying this to put fish in it, please, please don't. I cannot stress that enough. Fish are living creatures and they do not deserve to be kept and whatever this thing is. Like, truthfully, not suited for living animals. They need to put that on bold. The fact they advertise this with fish is really concerning. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If anything, I hope this kind of brought to light that these gimmicky style aquariums of under a half a gallon of water are more for show rather than for functionality or keeping fish. Um, especially when they sound like that. I mean, if, if that's not a gimmick, I don't know what is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different style of video. If you want to see something new, if you want to see a different aquarium, or if you want to see me review something else, let me know down in the comments below. I read all of them, and I will get back to you as soon as possible, which is pretty quickly, not gonna lie. But with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video. As I mentioned 27 times, don't buy this aquarium. I'll catch you in the next one, and good bye.